I'm Randy V. As you all, I think most of you know by now, and I am here today with Carlos. Carlos, you want your full name said? Yeah. Shout out your full name. Carlos Walker. Thank you. And Prince? I'm Prince. You just stick with Prince. Yeah. I appreciate that, Good you know. Um, we are here doing my truthing, and truthing is a time where I feel that you tell your full truth. I feel oftentimes, particularly in the black community, our truths are diluted or we don't feel comfortable sharing them. We feel that we'll be judged or in any way punished. And so this is a time, because that's not good for our health, mental or physical. Mm -hmm. It's a time where you absolutely just get to tell your truth. So I picked out a few truthing cards. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about, because we're here in your beautiful, right. awesome, fly ass, dope, black uh, yeah. Yeah. store. Community Love Hub. Talk about it. And so one of the questions I have is I talk a lot about black businesses. Okay. Right? And I'm all for supporting black businesses, but it doesn't seem that we do it as well as we should do it within our community, as they keep giving us the stats that our dollar does not stay within our community a long time. Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. Six hours. And so I wanted to ask you, why do you think that exists? Why do you think that problem of us spending money within our own community exists? Now, I know it's a, it's a, there's, there's several reasons, but let me yeah. know your thoughts on that. Uh, I would say we talk about this all the time. It's just a case of, I think, um, the ice over there is colder <laughs> than the ice over here. They have that type of mindset, right? And so not realizing that, you know, our ice is still cold. Both just, ice, if like, not colder. Not if not colder. colder. Yeah, yeah, if not colder. So... I think being able to give uh, with, uh, give us the opportunity within our own community to be able to, you know, shop with each other and stuff like that. That like that's that's big. That's what's gonna change the dynamic of things for us. So, uh, Prince, I want to go back to what you said: the ice being colder. Their mm -hmm. ice is colder. So what you're saying is that black, black people have yeah. been taught. Right? Mm -hmm. Black people have Cold been brand. taught that mm -hmm. white is better or yeah. a white brand is better. And, and I think subconsciously it, it lives within um, our minds sometimes that white ice is better than black ice. Mm -hmm. you know? Carlos, you have something to say about that? Uh, there's, a, there's an example that's going around with the, uh, mm -hmm. the black Air Force Ones and the white Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. Ah. And for some strange reason, we always like to point at white is better. Yes. Because it's been dynamically or programmed in our mind. Programmed, that white I is think, is better. a perfect word. But why should we keep making black like it's the worst? Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of making black where it's the best. Why they couldn't dress in black and say the black is um, the black outfit is the one that does all the all the great things, mm -hmm. and the white is worse. Right. But is it? Is a program. We are programmed. And you know, I become so frustrated when I find people like we will fight over certain brands. Mm -hmm. I mean, like some Italian brand or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and, and, and that's 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 programming. It's Doesn't programming. everyone really or I always tell people, I remember when my mom was one of those black people who got sick of the way she was being treated in America and moved to Paris, moved to Europe, right? Yeah, the there was a whole thinks. rush there. And and um, so I went to Europe when I was young. But I had heard all these terrible things my whole life about Africa, the continent mm -hmm. of Africa. I'd heard so many terrible things. And I remember the first time I went uh, to Africa. Blew your mind. I, I, was, I, went, I, cr I, was, I was I was so happy, one, mm -hmm. it was, mm -hmm. but I was so angry because I had been lied to. So mm -hmm. I was like, all these people, they dream of going to Paris. And I'm like, if you knew Accra was so much better, <laughs> right? If you, if you really had any idea of, you know, if you went to Tanzania or if you went to Kenya or you went, you, you would not even, you Paris doesn't even white. compare. You wouldn't even compare. But because my whole life, people think Paris is the ultimate destination, mm -hmm. we've been brainwashed. And it's the same with clothing. It's the same with jewelry. It's the same with shoes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how do we deprogram Reprogram. ourselves? I mean, it, it's, it's a lot to unravel because it dates all the way back to, we can go back to just, the Willie Lynch mm -hmm. syndrome, right? Or oh, I even heard Muhammad Ali talking about one time, right? Um, in an interview, he was talking about white angel cake, mm -hmm. and devil angel cake, cake, right? And just using those terms, what we relate 
a angel to or a devil to and then uh, attaching those uh, names to something that Look like. looks like us yes you know it, it it does damage and not even knowing it like you like like you're talking about the white air force ones and the black air force mm -hmm. ones it's, it's you know it's it's kind of funny you know <laughs> right it but, it really media, but, <laughs> but it really but it ain't funny you know because you you really planting something in people's minds without even knowing that yeah so, yeah how do we change it and even to your the same way they, they, they chose to put it out there, you have to pro reprogram the mind by propaganda. Yep. The way that they know how to propagandize, they are masters. If you go and look at, look at um, the master, I think it was, the, um, they call him the godfather of propaganda, I forgot his name. But you go and just do studies of how these people have learned to propagandize just us. Yes. In every, in yep. every essence, to your point. What's the worst commercial that you have ever seen, or the only commercial you have ever seen about Africa? When they had, uh, when I was, I'm of the age where Sally Struthers was raising children, I mean raising money for children, and she would call it Africa. It wasn't a particular part of Africa, mm -hmm. and they would have flies landing on, on mm -hmm. people and starving. Mm -hmm. And I, when I was raising my sons, I purposely would never say eat your food, there's kids starving in Africa. I said there's kids starving around Everywhere. the corner. Mm -hmm. There's kids in West Virginia. Yep. There's kids, you know, yeah. White kids are starving too, and yeah. there's kids starving in Paris and in Poland, and in, and Russia got some real poor, uh, right. poor poverty, serious poverty. I refused to put that in their minds. So, just with that thought, that's the only commercial that has ever been shown about Ethiopia or Africa in in general. Mm -hmm. You've never seen a commercial where they showed the great beauty of Africa mm -hmm. in itself, and because of such. It has been showed not just because um, you was in the UK then, mm -hmm. in America. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that we ever know. So why do they show all of these other places, but they never show Africa? Never. We will leave here. Not in a positive They're scared. light. So for me, when you think about propaganda or you think about media in general, the reason why most of your African people come here and think that we don't do nothing, what do they know about us? Right. Music, movies, everything that, that's negative. Right. So this is all they have seen, and it's the same thing with us. It's just been propagandized against over us. Over and over This again. is the weapon. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to do the same thing, but with the positive spin. It's contrast to everything. So what we do is show all the black love, show all the black businesses. That's what I and it to has to be on a consistent basis mm -hmm. where it's so, so repetitive that we weed out the bull crap enough yeah. to show the opposite. And what happened? Most people don't even watch TV no more. So they we don't. have the ability to utilize social media to only show That's positive. That's why I think they part of the reason they want to shut like things like TikTok scared, down because we're, about we're to, seeing we, real life. We're seeing positivity. Yes. Yes, there's negative there, but a lot of us are now utilizing it for the positivity, mm -hmm. how to black, how to start a black owned business, how to do this. Yes. And you, people are getting rich, black people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are getting money. So now use that and put more power to it and you change our whole structure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I would love to see some of the musicians, you brought up musicians and start rapping about our brands. Mm -hmm. Like don't always talk about some Christian Louboutins or some whatever, like put yeah. our stuff yeah. in there, like and make it the, the make it the it. Yeah. Yeah, make it the it. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, and I, I get it. They, you know, they want to be fly and 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 things like that, and and want to wear quality clothing, but they try to always associate our brands with something that's not quality. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. And that's not always that's not always the case. And you do know? you feel like we're harder on each other? Yeah. Because I know I feel like. When a black business makes a mistake, or a, you a know, we give person. poor customer service, it's like people just go hang on to it. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't. That's why I don't go to black businesses because of so and so. Like they will ban all black businesses because of one, and I'm like. How many times have you been to McDonald's and the ice cream machine doesn't work? <laughs> yeah. Or you get the wrong order? Like, yeah. and this is a major corporation, yeah. and they mess up. Why don't we give ourselves grace? Why don't we give each other grace? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we always have to go above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, when we created 
um, the store Community Love, we implemented um, a specific customer service mm -hmm. tactic to what we were doing. Um, you know, most retail stores you, you go into, people hardly speak to you. That's true. You know what I mean? But people still flow in and shop and mm -hmm. doesn't matter if somebody's talking to them or not. Talking you know? to them nasty. Yeah. Look at uh, Oprah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Oprah, here she is at this point. She wasn't a billionaire, but she was a multimillionaire. Couldn't get a Birkin. They wouldn't let her in. No, Hermes. They wouldn't mm -hmm. let her in the store. Yeah. And there's always these wake-up calls that happen. Mm -hmm. And it feels like it seems like we expect abuse or we accept abuse when it happens to us from white businesses. But the minute it happens at a black business, it's like... Come we're, on. Yeah, we're, we're done. We ban black businesses. We'll just dog us. And I, I have a rule. I tell people, I said... I always elevate black businesses. Have I had bad experiences at a black business? Of course, but I'm not gonna dog a black business. It's not gonna happen. You're just not gonna hear about it, yeah, right? Facts. You're just not gonna hear about it. I'm not, I'm not gonna dog my fellow people. That's right. Just not doing it. I mean, I, I will say this. I, I'll say this to all black businesses out there, uh, up and coming entrepreneurs, you know, um, make sure that our customer service is on point. I know, it, you know, we're gonna lack slack in areas. Sometimes we're not perfect, but you know, we do have to go above and beyond. And with knowing that, you know, let's make sure that we try to do that, give the best customer service. Let's not, you know, mimic what we see out here. Let's set our own standard. Set you our own standard. I mean? Because, you know, I, we, we righteous by nature anyway. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, you know, let's play that, that part. Let's mm -hmm. be that, you know, and, and we'll be the standard. We always. And what can customers do, do you think, to help promote? black businesses like because i see um, it as a part of i see it as my responsibility mm -hmm. honestly um because we're not going to support if we don't support black businesses yeah. i don't know who we expect is yeah, so what do you think would you what would you ask like if you said man we got to make this a movement how would you say people what people can do better as at to make this a movement spend your money spend your money number one number two even if a business ain't moving as what your standard is, find out how to go and have a conversation with somebody yep. that, can Im, that can move their thought to a higher level. You ain't gotta be disrespectful, get nasty with your words. You can pull them to the side and say, look, this was a problem. Mm -hmm. And if you fix this, it'll be a lot smoother. We should be able to piggyback off each other, but post. Take pictures in black, hey, no, if you don't do nothing else, posting is, is the new wave. Look, post <laughs> somebody's business. Yeah. Post a black business in your city. Look, every city that you go in, post a black business. Let's get exposure to every black business that's in America. And, and just to piggyback on what you said, like, spend your money, definitely. Spend your like, money. When we started off, we didn't have the best quality t-shirts. We had good t-shirts, right? But we didn't have the best quality, but from the community being able to come in and it's a it's investing into your community mm -hmm. that's what Absolutely. it is investing into a black business coming and spending your dollar with a black business is investing into that business and in return investing into your community so when we first started off like i said our t-shirts and, and garments weren't the best right but you know we did give you something to wear but by you being able to come in and, and support us through the months through the years stuff like that we got to elevate you know, so think about this. Nike didn't start off with the best quality mm -hmm. sneakers it when they first not. started off, but people went and bought them anyway. And throughout the years, they was able to obtain Still. that type of quality that they wanted to obtain. And it's the same way with any business. You gotta, like you said earlier, you gotta, we gotta give each other grace. Like give we each other too, grace. we're too far behind in this, in this race. You know, literally to not uh, give each other grace and, and the opportunity to grow. This is the only way we're going to catch up. Real talk. And we don't have, we cannot have black power without black economic Come power. Come on now. That's, That's what people way. don't get. If we don't have black economic power, yeah. talk you about ain't it. got black yeah. power. We ain't got black power. There's nothing we can yeah. do. Nothing. Yeah. And, and it really thing. is just a song. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And we tired of singing songs without action. Without Come action. On. Absolutely. Yeah. And it has to be a collective movement. I appreciate you brothers talking about it because it's something, it's the only way we're going to make a change is if we have some power. I told people, I was like, I, don't, I want their, right now, every black person's dream 
is typically dependent on a white person's yes. Mm. And somewhere, uh, even Oprah, the Oprah's production company is, is not back. It's not just her, you know, the own network. So, you know, you want to get it where we have power to say, I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, I use Beyonce as an example. You know, Beyonce used to just kind of be quiet. She didn't say anything. You didn't know what her opinions were. Um, and then she worked and worked and worked. And now, you know, then Super Bowl, she came out like black power <laughs> because mm -hmm. She has the power to now do what she could not do before. Because if we build our own power, where we can say no sometimes, or we can we can provide our own yeses, you know, she's got a couple people she can go to before she's you know shut down. That gives us power to make decisions, do better. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I think we're all trying to get to. Yeah, because I mean, look at every other community out here, you know. They all have an established community within mm -hmm. whatever city, yep, town, you know, and we don't, you know, when it, it comes down to when you come to our communities, you know, just being real, right? When you come down to the shopping, the convenience stores, the different things, it's always run by somebody else mm -hmm. in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. but. If you go to anybody else's neighborhood, you don't see mm -mm. us nope. having a business in their community, right? And you know, you may catch a little trouble, a little flat mm -hmm. from trying to put something in that community. True. So, you know, I think we need to, you know, as a community first, uh, first and foremost, take care of our own. You know, this ain't excluding nobody else or really trying to like diss nobody else, but. It's us taking care of our own. That's that's what we need to be doing, like first and foremost. And we, then we can, you're really just saying, yeah. give us the same love that you uh, give to other people. Yeah, that's, that's not saying fact. excluding everybody. Yeah. We give ourselves less love mm -hmm. by far. I mean, this mm -hmm. is proven. The dollars, mm -hmm. where we're spending our dollars, what we're shouting out, what we covet, mm -hmm. we're showing that we're not showing the same love yeah. to, within our own community. That's a fact. That's and it a goes fact. back to what you said before about our program mind, decolonizing our brains. You got to decolonize your brain. And accountability too, making sure that you know the businesses that's within our communities that we support and make sure they support in the community. Mm -hmm. There you, know, you go. That's a, that's a that's a big thing. Right Say there. that again now. You know accountability. Mm -hmm. You know within our community, making sure that the businesses that we support in our community, in return support our community. That's, well, that's what big. example would you give of that? Is there some a business you look to that you would say? You know, I got to look to our own. I got one. Know? Okay. The church. The church. The black church, yeah. what it can do, this is one of the reasons why he created this, mm -hmm. is because he was in Petersburg, and Petersburg is run, it was run down a mm -hmm. little bit. And he seen the churches looking good. Mm -hmm. But there ain't the streets, I mean, that's pretty much the, the people, I mean, the, uh, the government, but if the church took and went outside of their community, mm -hmm and dump some of them funds that they have taken in for years mm -hmm. and put it back out there into the community, people will come to the church. Yeah, that's a but mm. you have to feed and learn how to feed. I understand we're a young community and sometimes we can be heavy on our people, but when we know that it's been sucked out, put back yeah. without asking for anything. Right. And what happened, we will all will live off of it. To me, if everybody was to give a 10% and then the 10% was put back into the community, mm -hmm. guess what happens to the whole community? We all thrive. We all thrive. You, like they do in the Asian communities, you know, they have their own banks. When someone wants to start a business, mm -hmm. they, they help fund the, the business. The yep. Jewish community, yep. right now, if you're a young Jewish person and you can prove that you are and you go to Jerusalem, they give you a, a, um, an amount of money. Wow. You got to just pay the money back. Mm -hmm. and. This should be our community, but we're not organized as a community. We we're not organized, and then I think it goes back to that programming: do we love each other enough mm -hmm. and trust each other enough trust. to That's build the the, build the, the, the organization? Yeah. And we the, got some healing to do. We got a lot of healing, <laughs> to do. but we have to start somewhere. And if we're going to do anything, start in love, learning start to in love. tell start in each love. other yes. that we love each other. Yes. Until we show it and prove it. Yes. which is putting our money into a pot. Let's create, let's start with creating a billion dollars. What is a billion dollars to $1.7 trillion that we, done, that we spend over 
a whole year's pay. Mm -hmm. Right. Spend. My spending power yeah. is strong. It's crazy. Yes. What they said, number is either yep. eight or number 12 as a nation out of all the nations that we know of. Yep. So no, now, and ain't, we could. no, that is our nation, yeah, but, but we ain't putting nothing in the We're not putting nothing in ours. Right. Is, is being able to be, because they na it, mm -hmm. it was this thing where they named the nations that were able to do it. And it's all good. of these nations that they named had a nation, nation of their own. Yeah, we, ain't even wow. a nation. we were included in it, but we don't have a, a nation, nation of our own. Right. We just spend the way the nations spend without having a nation put back into ourselves. Let's we, create wow. a, we're sending it out. Let's create a billion know? dollars. Let's and let's stamp it. Let's tell everybody, look, let's create with a billion dollars. What we are able to do is start our system. And as you start your system, it starts in love. It starts in love. I believe you. I'm with you on that. It's funny because I do a lot of work, you know, mm -hmm. for within the community. And when I post certain things, I have white people come or they'll say, oh, you don't like white people. I said, I'm just, I just love us. I said, I'm just focused. My, my whole movement is about love. I, don't, mm -hmm. I really don't have time to hate, like mm -hmm. the quote says. I'm really so focused on loving. And, and, and helping my community it has nothing to do with hate. No. I'm honestly not even thinking about you, to, be, on, to be honest we, with you. We love y'all too, but we, we ain't got time to be focused on but you. Okay, they I can't always right try now. to put that on us, though. We don't ever see you putting that on nobody. Else. And, right, so what right. is it when you try to put that on us when we're trying to love ourselves? Is the Asians? When you know the, the, the situations or, or the things that we've been through uh, as a people in the country, right? We know that we put in all of this blood, sweat, and tears, mm -hmm. our ancestors, you know, um, know what was done to us. So, you know, when we trying to get it together to take care of one Living another, hate. right? Stay out of our business. Stay out of our you business. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if they don't want to give us business. reparations, look, business. let us yeah. build our own. Let us build our own. But I think we can do it, though, you know. You do think we can do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I it starts with the ones that's conscious about mm -hmm. it, right? Being the example uh, for everybody else, because you know people need leaders at times. Come on, right? people need leaders, and, and and the ones that's conscious of it need to stand up and be those leaders. You know, we talk about well, this. this you all are leading. It. This mm -hmm. is lead. This yeah, is leadership right. right here. So I right. appreciate it, and I appreciate the time, and the thoughts, and the love from this conversation. No, we appreciate you. I really want to know what everybody else thinks. This is big. We need to change, y'all. Comment, like, share. Let's get this conversation going.